because in this business, you're kind of a, an everlasting student, you know, because the market continuously changes and you need to change and evolve with it. So you need to be educating yourself on like the new trends and the new ways to do things to generate leads and whatnot. I'm Maud Leger, and this is the Realtors Conspiracy Podcast, where we crack the code to real estate success. Learn from top realtors, entrepreneurs, and innovators about how to grow your business as we discuss real estate success stories, mindset, processes, and the key to their success. Check out our podcast episodes every Monday to crack the code to success for your real estate business. This week, I'm speaking with Lauren Moroso from eXp. Today's episode is all about leads. Lorraine is a brand new realtor that just started a few months ago. She believes in being a sponge for knowledge and looking for ways to innovate mixed with traditional lead generation activities. Her key to building and growing her success is getting out of her comfort zone and having genuine conversations every day because she knows that a client may come from anywhere. So let's get to my chat with Lorraine. Hi, Lauren. Thanks for joining us on the episode today. Tell us, you join uh, real estate as a realtor in a very challenging year. How did that go for you? Or tell us your background. Yeah, well, first, I just wanted to say thank you so much for inviting me on the podcast. Um, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, yeah, so I um, got licensed back in July of this year. Um, so I actually started in 2020. And we all know how that year went. Yes. <laughs> um, so um, it's been challenging for sure. Um, but yeah, I finally got my license in July. And so about five months or so now. Um, so I'm still pretty new, still learning a lot every single day. Um, but I'm very excited. What attracted you to real estate to begin with? So I have always had a love for real estate. I knew even in high school that it was something that I wanted to do. I was obsessed with HGTV. I watched it all the time. Um, I mean, I know it's, that's a show, but <laughs> still, I loved it. Um, and then I gra well graduated high school and then I went to university um, and I went to University of Guelph. So they have a, um, they have a program in their commerce um, degree. So I have my Bachelor of Commerce, but it's a real estate and housing major. So um, I learned all about real estate throughout my undergrad, which was super cool, not just residential, but all aspects of real estate, economics, theory. Um, so it was really cool to learn about that. And then um, I graduated and I didn't exactly know 100% which route I wanted to take. Um, and then, you know, COVID hit. So I was like, well, this is the perfect opportunity. I have the time to get my license. Like, why not just do it? And so I did because it was all online. It was perfect for me. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how I got started. I love it. So now you've been a realtor for five months ish. What are you doing to generate leads for yourself? How are you building a, a foundation for your build business? Yeah. So I knew before becoming a realtor that I really wanted to use social media to my advantage. Um, it's, it's huge right now. You can scale your business astronomically. Um, and, you know, being consistent with it too is definitely key. So for me, it's just about building that brand awareness, letting people know like who I am, what I offer, um, and just really connecting with people online. Um, I have tried door-to-door -door knocking again with the nature of the world right now. It's a little bit difficult. It's tricky. Yes. Um, but I have done some farming around my neighborhood, um, just going around to my neighbors saying, Hey, I'm new into the industry. I know the neighborhood very well, mm -hmm. you know, no, no pressure or anything, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Mm -hmm. Um, so just doing little things here and there, well, um, have, <laughs> yeah. And just always having those conversations. I try to have conversations as much as I can. Um, I'm still actually working another part-time job um at a grocery store and I've worked there ever since high school um so I'm networking with people there too I have conversations with them about real estate because you never know who your next client could be it could be someone standing you know in line in front of you at Tim Hortons or it could be someone in the mall or you know a, the bank teller like you, you never know who could yeah. be your next client so 
just all about those building those connections and um, continuing to have more conversations. Yeah, a lot of people when they first start in real estate, they get really intimidated with having to introduce themselves or to say they're a realtor. How do you manage that? Yeah, so of course I don't ever want to come across as pushy or salesy. You know, we all get those those phone calls where they're just trying to push their business at you. I never ever <laughs> want to come across that way. Um, so I just naturally let the conversation flow and you know get to know people on a personal level, and then real estate just usually always naturally comes up. Um, so yeah, I just kind of work it in the conversation casually. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Like slow conversation, and then it gets to real estate no matter what. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's a hot topic right now. <laughs> yes, very. What are yeah. your uh, goals for this coming year? I guess. Um, I mean, I would like to make a sale. <laughs> At bare minimum, I would love to um, sell a home. But um, I mean, just building my my network, networking with uh, different third party professionals, really expanding uh, my reach of people who I know, um, and just attracting more clients, um, and really just making a business for myself. Yeah, I love it. What processes are you applying for your business, actually? Um, so with my um, brokerage, we actually have some great training 24 seven. So I'm really taking advantage of that. Um, like day and night, there's, there's no shortage of training there. Um, and I've been working with some really great mentors too, who have um, helped me and guided me along the way and are there for me if I need any help with anything. So mm -hmm. really leaning into them and using all the resources that I have. Yeah. Mentorship is huge, especially as a brand new realtor, right? You got to absolutely knowledge somewhere. Yeah. I love that you have this open mind too, like not afraid to just <laughs> go. No, absolutely. No. Yeah. What are like key training points that you've learned from that training? Um, so, well, we have training in all different aspects, you know, how to generate leads, um, you know, how to build your database and your CRM system, you know, learning your different scripts and whatnot, and, you know, how to, how to talk to people. Um, and just from A to Z, there's everything in between to learn. So, I'm really just taking advantage of that and being a sponge and absorbing as much information as I can. Yeah. Cause in this business, you're kind of a, an everlasting student, you know, cause the market continuously changes and you need to change and evolve with it. So you need to be educating yourself on like the new trends and the new ways to do things to generate leads and whatnot. So yeah. it's really just about, you know, putting in the time and um, work, work ethic to, like learn these new ways. Wow, that's that's so empowering. Like in yeah. a <laughs> get leads, work ethic. It's just like yeah, encompasses everything to really have a successful business as a realtor. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot that goes into it that I think from people who aren't in the uh, uh, industry maybe don't necessarily understand or they don't know the behind the scenes, which is another thing that I'm looking forward to hopefully posting more of on social media to yeah. be really like raw and authentic and show the behind the scenes. Like, look, it's not as glamorous as, or as easy as it seems on TV, you know? As HGTV, not your- Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, I think you have all the qualities to become uh, a really great realtor. Come, that's Thank you so much, I appreciate yeah. it. So I guess to that, what do you feel is one quality that will make you a successful realtor? What's the strongest strand that you bring to the table? Um. I think just being a social person in general, I mean, I would consider myself to be more of an introvert, but as I've grown up, I think I've really come out of my shell um, and just not being afraid to have those conversations and, you know, be consistent and just, just be yourself really. Nice. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. What yeah. motivates you? What gets you going in the morning or like the work ethic part of it? <laughs> um, You know what? I, I don't really have one single thing that motivates me. I just, I get up every morning. Um, you know, I write my to-do list for the day. Um, and, you know, I have this journal where it's my like daily affirmations. I write down all my affirmations mm -hmm. and I just get going with my day. And it start, it just is a great way to start my day and get my mind 
um, in the right place. Yeah, very empowering. Thank you. So what is your day to day? What are your time blocks or how do you apply your work ethic mindset? Yeah, so um, day to day, it looks totally different. There's not one day that's the same. Um, so most of the time I will try to schedule and time block is so important too, in order to get all the tasks that you need to get done. Mm -hmm. It is so, so important. Um, I try to incorporate training, um, work on my branding throughout the day, um, and then, uh, be consistent and active on social media, interact with people, um, you know, network with other fellow realtors that I've seen. Um, and it really just depends. Sometimes I'll have showings in the afternoon, um, yeah. or, you know, answering people's questions or more training. It, it really just depends on the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now though, it is kind of that slower period in the market where people are not putting their homes on, on MLS just because they're waiting until, okay. you know, the, the holiday, you know, comes and goes, but, um, yeah, so we'll see what the spring brings. But um, yeah, my day to day looks very different. <laughs> I love that in your marketing, you're talking about social media, and then I, I got your flyer. So I know you're doing some print, uh, just doing different mediums, right? Not putting all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Why do you do that? What made you decide to farm an area? Um, I think just working as a new realtor, I really wanted to um, network my sphere. That's like the very first thing that they all say to you is to work your sphere. Um, so I made a post on Instagram, you know, here I am, I'm a new realtor. So all my friends and family could po uh, see it. But then I also um, wanted to let my neighbors know too, who may not necessarily have me on my social media, but like I see on a day or a weekly basis. So yeah. I went around my neighborhood, I printed a flyer, I made it myself. Um, and I just went around uh, my neighborhood. Um, if I if I saw people there, great. And I had a little conversation with them. If not, it's okay. I just left it in their um, on their doorstep. And um, yeah, just to get my the word out there that hey, I'm a new realtor. I also live in your area. I grew up here um, for many years. I know it very well. Like if yeah. you ever needed any questions or anything, I'm here to help. So. Perfect. It works. It yeah. works like just mixing it up. I love it. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. What are you excited about in the industry coming up? Oh, that, sorry. That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm excited to see what next year brings. I've, I've heard some mixed, mixed things. Some people say that the market is going to stay the same or prices are going to increase. Mm -hmm. Some people um, some different bank institutions and whatnot have said that it might drop. So honestly, we'll see who knows at this point what's going to happen. Um, but I'm very excited for the future. Um, and I know that next year is probably going to be a big year. So you're talking about being a sponge for knowledge and mentorship and really educating yourself right now. What's the best advice you've received? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I would say, honestly, just be truly 100% your authentic self. You know, don't put on a facade or an act of, you know, whatever, just being yourself, you will gravitate towards the right people. And you will find your people who you can work with. And um, yeah, just 100% be yourself. Um, and everything will work out. That's so true. I love it. That's a great attitude to bring to bring on. Thank you. Thank you. What is your social media? Where do we find you online? Yeah, so uh, my handle for Instagram is Lauren Moroso dot realtor. Um, okay. I believe my Facebook page is also Lauren Moroso realtor. Okay. Um, and yeah, those are my two social medias that I primarily use. Yeah. Um, hopefully, I was thinking of starting a YouTube soon, but I haven't dive into that area just yet <laughs> but stay tuned <laughs> yeah that's awesome thank you thank you so much for sharing all of this very empowering for all the new realtors out there oh thank you so much Maud. i appreciate it thanks for joining subscribe to our podcast realtors conspiracy today mm -hmm.